Hi, thank you for your question. And for those who are new, my name's MJ. I'm a trans man. I have been in and out of the closet since like probably 2006. Um, but I can take you through it because I made a grid. So this is me in January of 2006. I was 15 years old. And this was me in 2006 to like 2007 when I first started, um, you know, presenting masculine. And I'd say like I socially transitioned, like people uh, regarded me as male in public. Um, I I did not come out to my friends and family. I primarily just um, told them I was a masculine lesbian. Although now that I think of it, like I... I think they, I mean, they did question it. Like they did, I did get questioned about it. Um, So I'm sure they kind of had their thoughts that maybe it was more than just being a masculine lesbian. Uh, But my family's Irish Catholic. And so I really struggled with religion. I really wanted to try hard to um, pursue a more traditional lifestyle, which my life has always been anything but that. But um, this is me in 2014. So I presented feminine for a very long time until I started my medical transition in 2016. Uh, This is 2018, a picture from then I had already been on hormones, had top surgery. In 2019, I found out that I had to go off testosterone because my liver was failing. Um, and that was really rough to deal with. I mean, that was that was a hard pill to swallow. Um, there was not a lot of clarity at that time. But mainly, I was worried that all my changes would revert um, and that I wasn't going to be able to pass. And I live in a pretty rural area, so I was just really nervous about it. So I detransitioned for like a month and a half. And then that's 2020, and I look the same, really. <laughs> Just as a side note, um, I just want to mention my husband has been with me from this time right here, the first picture on the end, till now. So I would love to say, like, no, I'll never detransition, um, but I am not a liar, I cannot lie. <laughs> Statistically speaking, I mean, I'm 33 years old, and I have health anxiety, so I'm always doing those, like, online calculators, like, how long will I live? Uh, and usually it says, like, well into my 80s, um, so if I've already detransitioned twice at 33, yeah, I'll probably detransition again. I mean, I don't know, like, why, because I don't know, like, what'll happen in the future or whatever, but I'm just saying, you know, looking at my pattern, it shows that I probably will. It's something that my uh, husband and I, we have open discourse about. Like, if I ever felt like my safety, my family's safety, or my mental health, or anything, um, you know, would be more solid if I detransitioned, then I'd do it, and it would just be like, fuck what everyone thinks, you know what I mean? Um, I've already done it twice. <laughs> I can't imagine a situation where my mental health would be better presenting feminine um, because I have struggled with gender dysphoria my whole life. Um, But there are certain situations in which, for instance, when I detransition the second time, you know, um, not having to worry about going out in public, being outed because my changes were going to revert, I wasn't going to pass as much, like that weighs on the psyche. (laughs) But I also kind of feel like, you know, I'm just going to do whatever the hell I want, you know? Like, I love my life now, but if I ever woke up one day and I was like, I want to get a lace front and lose a few LBs and, like, uh, wear fake lashes, like, I'm going to do it. I mean, I have literally been transitioning for so... This has been such a long journey. I'm, I'm getting old. So I'm just at a point in my life where, like, I feel like I don't need to explain myself as much, don't need as much reasoning. Not to you. You're very sweet, and I'm very thankful for your comment. But like, you know, I remember when I first came out, I first started transitioning, first started going on testosterone. It's like, you feel like you have to prove something. You got to prove how masculine you are. You got to prove you're the transiest of the trans. Like, I'm literally diagnosed with uh, gender dysphoria through um, adulthood and adolescence. So like, this is something I've been struggling with for a long time. It's been a long road. So if anybody ever wanted to question my validity about anything, it's like, who cares at this point, you know? But my husband and I do talk about it a lot that, you know, like with the stuff going on in the world, it's kind of scary. Um, If we ever were safer presenting as a straight couple, like I'm absolutely going to do it. And I do want to say that I notice the privilege in that, like I do recognize it. And that's for two reasons. For one, uh, because there's privilege in being able to just go out in the world and like kind of assimilate at times as a white male um, and then be like, oh, you know, I'm going to transition into a woman because, you know, uh, this isn't safe anymore. Like, I'm sure, like, trans POC, it would not be as, like, you know, of a as much of a cookie cutter experience. Like, I just, I recognize that. I also recognize that, you know, my husband's a trans man, and he looks like a fucking lumberjack. He is huge. And, I mean, that dude, like, he 
I don't, I don't know how he would ever, de- you know, he could never detransition. Like, there's trans men that don't have that privilege of looking androgynous, which usually isn't a privilege being trans. Uh, well, in, in the trans mass community, usually not. Um, but, you know, a lot of trans men don't have that privilege to just be like, oh, you know, I'm, I've decided that I'm just gonna, you know, pass as a cis woman today. Um, you know, so I do recognize there's privilege in that, but even with that being said, um... I'm going to do what I do because I want to do it. I don't know. <laughs> but right now, I'm happy. Um, I love my life. Um, I love how I look, especially with this missing tooth. I love it. But just looking at history and based on facts, yes, I probably will detransition. If not, uh, once, then more than once uh, in the future.